Hello friends, and welcome to Turtle Queen Gaming. So, last week, hydrophobia didn't work out so well. Uh, I then, I tried to, to do a Bard's Tale. That game told me that I could fuck off as well, apparently. And so, th we're going to try Jack Keen. Now, I buy games based off of trailers and whatnot. This one looked funny. And I'm sure it's part of a series. I have no idea. I didn't look that far into it. I thought that it could be humorous and wanted to check it out. So let's do it. Why not? Ah, my goodness. And pardon me if I'm a little, like, loopy. I've been recording all day to, uh, in between making uh, candy somewhere in the Indian Ocean. An island. But yes. I just finished making the first baby dragon for my baby chocolate baby dragon eggs. I mean, look. I based it off of this guy from Wonders and Whimmy. Whim Whimsy? So cute. Ah, Miss Grizzle. I must say, you do look exceptionally vexed today. You flatter me, Dr. T. Anything special in the mail? Indeed there is. The Queen is allegedly sending a secret agent to spy on us. He is supposed to find out if you are possibly planning to strike a blow against the Empire. Under no circumstances is the Queen to learn of my sinister plans, which is why we what shall take happening? a few precautions. Have any applications for the job as henchmen arrived? Just one, Doctor. From a woman in the United States. An American? That will guarantee a quick finger on the trigger. Send the young lady an invitation. For my part, I shall make sure this agent has an unforgettable stay on our island. Let the game begin. <laughs> you are so wicked, Dr. T. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Grizzle. I ask you, who could stop me now? That was really weird. Meanwhile, in London. A quiet shame, it's his. Another little twerp. Only lasted five minutes, tops. Then you better pull your punches this time. What? Wait a minute. Who are you? You borrowed yourself some money from Mr. Lee, remember? To pay for your ship. And now he wants his money back. Already? Listen, Rome wasn't built in a day, either. It takes a little time to set up a business. A little time? It's been three years! Oh. Now, Mr. Lee finally wants to see cash on the table. With interest galore, naturally. Naturally. And we're going to beat that interest out of you. Right, it's high time. Might I pound him to a pulp, please? Oh, all right, but not all at once. <laughs> oh, I see. It's a point and click. That was actually a really good punching animation. I've no idea what's inside there, and unfortunately in this condition it doesn't help me to get anywhere either. I narrate my lines out loud in the middle of these. That's awesome. Apparently, I still have a few debts to pay. How do I... A door. Where? Important material for construction. But I don't want to build. I want wherever it leads to. As long as I'm tied up, it he's only half as horrid as his boss. Apparently, I still have... He's only half as horrid. Apparently, I still have a few debts to pay. Okay, weird. Now what? Oh. Oh, I right click. Left click to observe. Don't hurt me, please. Hmm. What freak show did you two escape from, anyway? I'm gonna turn you into a little freak show. Right now! Uh, crack. Ha! Huh. I guess I'll have to get punched once more. My knife. Blast it! A few more inches and I- He's only half as- Well... Let's see...
Hmm. <laughs> Was that your best shot? Guess all you've got in those arms is lard. Now you're really gonna get it. Mm, pop! Did I get it? Can I reach it now? Yep. Cool. <laughs> eh, reach! Whoa! Whoa! That didn't work nearly as well as I wanted it to. Oh, run! Stay right there! Oh. Just you wait! <laughs> Where the fuck did that come from? Hold on there while I load my gun. <sighs> oh no. Oh crap. Of all places at the top of a tower. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's being way up high. Come on, big guy. Let's break down the door. I should hurry. How do I get down from here? Okay, hey, there's a shiny thing over there. Oh good. A cleaning device. Those never end badly. There's also a shiny thing. How do I move? Do I is it WASD? Can we Okay, there we go. Do I Okay, it's left click. What's it's a bird! It's got my knife! My knife? So that's where it is. Down there. No, what are you doing? Stop that! Bird poop. What's this? Look at a bucket. A bucket. A bucket. These signs aren't standing here for laughs. A bucket. It, it, a bucket. Yes, I, These I, signs I realize it's aren't a bucket. standing here for laughs. Okay. Can I? How do I? Oh, hold on. How do I camera angle? There we go. Climb down. Bird boot. All this filth makes what's already not as special. I'm not climbing down there as slippery as it is. It's crazy to even walk around here. Okay, well then how do I... I need this bucket. How do I pick up bucket? A bucket. A bucket. A bucket. A bucket. Fuck you. Pick up the bucket. A bucket. These signs oh aren't standing God. here for laughs. What's this? Just taking a look is enough to make me awfully dizzy. Oh, for pity's sake. Can I go what? in? What? They're trying to break down the door from inside. I'm certainly not going to make it any easier for them. I'm assuming I need my knife to undo this. The knot holds the restraining rope. Well, untie the knot, doofus. The knot holds the restraining rope. That did the trick. Hey, what? What just happened? Oh, hey! We've got you now! Just you wait! We're going to come over and make mincemeat out of you! Oh. Cleanliness is being taken care of up here, too. Sorry to say the thing- What a heavy thing! And sealed tightly! Just you wait! We'll think of something, and then we'll leap across to you! Okay. Cleanliness is being taken use... care of, up here, too. Use broom with thug. Okay. Cleanliness is Apparently being taken care of up here, too. The broom is too short for that. 
Oh, a rag? A cleaning rag. Cleanliness is being taken care of. Up here, that's not going rag? to work. A cleaning rag. A cleaning rag. Oh a my cleaning God, this rag. Is a lot a cleaning rag. Oh, this is a lot more difficult than I thought. That it was doesn't seem be. to work. What does the broom do? Liverage? Oh, I see. Made me lighter. That won't help you for long. We'll be back up there in the jiffy. Oh, I see what happened. Okay, cool. I can also enter the attic and leave, right? That makes sense. So I just need to- A bucket. A bucket. A cleaning rag? No. Cleaning rag. There we go. There you go! Come down here. Climb down. Uh, use wet- well, there we go. What wouldn't be drenched in this weather? Ah ha ha, that was a London joke. Use let wet rag with poop. Gross and immediate. Hey bird, bird, can I have my knife? Can I have my knife? Oh, fuck off! You're like this big. I can Did strangle you. Did I already you. mention that I have a certain problem with heights? Okay, fair I'm enough. I'm not gonna climb there. At least, not as long as that beast squats there. Then again, maybe I can scare it off somehow. Boo! Be afraid! All this filth makes what's already not especially inviting flooring even more dangerous. No tower can do without one. I have a sandbag. I might be able to use those. On the other hand, I'd have to climb around there, and I hate heights. Okay, I guess I'll figure out what's up in the attic. Because surely there's more useful things in the attic. Or it wouldn't let me in there. Right? Right, right, right. See ya, blockheads. Oh no. Ah, see, you can't get away from us. Naturally. There's no handle from the outside. That seems silly. The door is locked. Well, darn. In here I thought that that was a thing. Hmm. No tower can do without one. Well, I'm assuming I need those sand or the sandbag for uh Left wait for wait. Woo. That's really far down. Apparently, I still have a few dead. He's only half as horrid as his boss. I might be able to use those. Hmm. On the other hand, I'd have to climb around there. And I hate heights. I don't even know. Hmm. Because there's poop. I need my knife. I don't really know what for yet, but I assume I need it. Hold on. Ah, oh, there we go. That's probably not great for my spine, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Looks like a few repairs are being done on Big Ben. Looks like a few repairs are being done on Big Ben. It prevents the work platform from racing downward. No tower can do without one. I don't think that'll work. No. Poop. There's... What is this? Blocked. No two ways about it. I won't be performing any feats of daring do up here. Well... The counterweight that stabilizes the work platform hangs on this rope. What you need. Crap. I don't know what to do. It's a bucket. A bucket. It's a plank. 
Just taking a look is enough to make me awfully dizzy. I guess I'm not gonna go up there. Climb down. Climb down, climb down. Ugh. Bird, you're irritating me. Bird! Did I already mention that I I'm not gonna then again? How do I scare it off? All this filth makes what's already not especially inviting flooring even more dangerous. No? Hmm. Guys! Hey guys! How do I do things? Look at crow. Yeah. Did I? I'm not gonna. Then again. Ugh. That didn't work. Did I already? I'm not. Then again. Well, I'm already stuck. What the hell is going on here? How do I win? Escape from the tower, get the knife back. That's not any help. <laughs> Just notes. Okay, so... Uh, hmm. That doesn't seem to work. No tower can do without one. That's not going to work. Yeah, well, I'm kind of grasping at straws at this point, friend. What is your point? That doesn't seem to work. That's not going to work. Well, why not? Whose fault is that? That's not going to work. How am I already stuck? I don't understand. That doesn't seem to work. See, listen here. This stuff is the only thing... That's not going to work. No tower can do without one. this? No? Crap! I don't know what to do. I'm already lost. This doesn't make any sense. Nor is it any kind of fair. And... Go to... There. Jeez. I can't find anywhere else. Like, danger sign, bird droppings. No tower can do without one. Yes, I understand. That's not going to work. No tower can do without one. I don't think that'll work. No tower can do without one. No tower can do without one. That's not going to work. Well, why That's not? not going to work. I don't think that'll work. Hey, how come that worked that time? Oh. That was stupid. Yeah, now I can and get my knife.
that's going to help me. I should hope so. Good to have it back again. Without the knife, this boy Jack's half naked. Hmm. That seemed really... I, you know, but I already tried the sandbag on them. That's not necessarily fair. I've owned the knife ever since my childhood. Oddly enough, there's also a kind of key on it. I don't think that'll work. Fine, I'll just go cut the counter rope or something. I've owned the knife ever since my childhood. Oddly enough, there's also a kind of key on it. It wouldn't be advisable to cut that rope. Excuse me. Didn't seem advisable to do that either, but I did it anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. Goodness. Eric, Lawrence, cast off. The gangster boss wants his loan back. Jack, perhaps you ought to wind down a peg or two. We've got a visitor. Joe Little, from the Royal... Sure, from the Royal Port Police. Uh, no, Jack, he's... Let me handle this. I know all there is about dealing with these guys. Famous last words. Listen, little Joe. Joe Little. Just because we've moored here for a few days without paying, and simply because we've unloaded our cargo at night without declaring it, that's certainly no reason to act like such a big shot. <laughs> we've got bigger problems to solve, and time is short. So, how much do you want? Two pounds? Three? Boys, how about taking a second to pull our... Jack, he's... Joseph Little from the Royal Secret Service. Oh. To be quiet, Frank, I had a lucrative mission for you, but I'll have to think that idea over again very carefully. Mission? Lucrative? Lucrative? Word has it that you're the fastest captain on the London-India route. Uh, sure. Right you are. That's me. Even though you do tend to <laughs> lose your cargo rather frequently. But like you said, I am fast. And that's what we're looking for. The Queen wishes to have one of her best agents brought to an island in the Indian Ocean. The pay is £10,000 sterling to compensate for passage. Ten? Thousand? Wow. What exactly was the name of that island your agent's supposed to be brought to? It is called Tooth Island. Hardly That's anybody the knows the ever. island's coordinates, and even fewer That's are welcome. Now. Like, just as bad Strange. as Skull Island. That name seems to ring a bell. Whatever. At any rate, we've got to clear out of London now. No, Jack, don't be a bleeding idiot. You're in awe to that cutthroat up to your ears. You'd be better off here where you can straighten that out. We can't keep running away forever. There you go. Solve your problems in London first. Those tough guys are not just going to leave us in peace. Are you nuts? The further we are from our problems, the better. <laughs> so, where is this agent we're supposed to take aboard? You would not be taking him aboard here. That would occur halfway along the route instead, in South Africa. Fine, we're in. Don't worry your pretty little head about that guy. Well, to be honest, we'll give him the royal treatment. Cast off, boys. But the square sail hasn't been mended at all yet. We'll do it on the way. Oh dear, this is definitely going to cost me my job. Paper? That was weird. This game Cassie, is strange. The little rat got away. Where's he off to? Look, he's left tracks behind. Oh, that's what the paper was. Tracks. Leading where? He's heading toward 
Cape Town. That makes sense, South Africa. How many chapters are there? Probably not that many, all things considered. What the hell? Ah, Cape Town, at last! That it's was one heck of a ride. Wouldn't have been off as bad if the rotten four lower topsail yard hadn't crashed South down Africa. on the head. And even that wouldn't have mattered too much if we'd had a first aid chest on board like we're supposed to. <laughs> well now, don't be such a wimp, Lawrence. Me? A wimp? I wouldn't complain as much if I got paid. Lawrence is right. As long as you're not paying us anyway, the least we want is a shore leave that fits the bill. Shore leave? We're taking that agent on board, and then it's time for us to get going again. No can do, Captain. Our demand is clear cut. A bit of shore leave's got to be part of the deal. All right. But a short one, mind you. And you gotta get us something to wet our whistles. That's the ticket? Downright fun is what we want. The very least you could do is supply us with a bottle of rum for all the trouble we went to. That makes sense. Seriously. Yeah, I talked to a bizarre Mexican. Exactly. It seems to me he's wearing a British uniform under his poncho. <laughs> Buenos dias! Is that a uniform you're wearing under your poncho? Uniform? Why, this is, um, traditional Mexican garb. Beat it. Your disguise is pretty ridiculous, Mr. Agent. Well now, Mr. Keen, you're obviously new to the business and do not know the ropes of undercover work. In the case you're of things done of secretly, Africa. it is paramount that they remain secret. Furthermore, as long as suspicious subjects keep sneaking around, I am not speaking with anyone. Those subjects are my crew. I couldn't give a hoot. I shall not talk to you until the time comes when we are undisturbed here. That guy is strange. <sighs> we better get them a bottle of rum. <laughs> Captain Cookster. A small donation for a man whom fate has left in dire He's surprisingly well-dressed. By the way, would you perchance have a few pennies for me? You know, for a beggar, you're pretty well-dressed. Beggar? I'm a businessman on his way up. You don't say. On the way up, huh? Well, if a man's down on his luck, the only way left is up, isn't it? Seems a legit. man could stay down, too. How true. But only if no one's willing to give me a few alms at last so that I can buy myself a new ship. I'll tell you a thing or two about Africa, my friend. Oh, do tell. They'll lie to you and cheat you here. Only the toughest make the grade. A man takes on some daring mission or other without batting an eyelash, and wham! Oh, wham? Wham! All gone in a flash. Your crew, ship, honor, fame, and fortune. I've got bad. to start all over again from the bottom wrong. With a very nice suit. <laughs> you still seem to have enough money left to smoke a pipe. Well, it's more like I can't seem to quit. If I only knew someone who needed the pipe more than I do, then I might be able to convince myself to quit smoking. <laughs> nice cigarette reference, though. How many pennies does a man need till he can buy himself a ship, lock, stock, and barrel? Depends on what you're looking for. They nearly give away old buckets like yours these days. Whoa. What an absolutely uncalled yeah, for remark. Geez. That is your ship over there, isn't it? It certainly is. The Charming Princess. It's listing a bit, wouldn't you say? Poppycock. That can be taken care of in no time. Poppycock. If you say so. 
Do you have any useful tips for me? Yes. If you don't want to end up like me, then do not do your shopping in that store there. Do not take any strangers on board your ship. And do not even think of setting sail for any <laughs> mysterious <laughs> islands. <laughs> Are you telling me to quit this game? Are you telling me to quit this game? Why not? All computer games do is make people aggressive anyway. <laughs> Tell me more about your wayward adventure. I don't really want to talk about this. Really? Come on, get it off your chest. All right. I received a letter from South Africa. It said the wealthy owner of a mine had died. His fortune was deposited at a bank, but no one was allowed to withdraw it because there were no close relatives with the right to do so. Coincidentally, I was supposed to have the same surname as the deceased. That's why the cousin-in-law of his mother's nephew once removed asked me to drop by and withdraw the money for him. Scam. A huge sum, one million scam. shillings. Try and picture that. And I was entitled to keep 30% for my trouble. Uh, yes, and all I had to do to cover the bank fees was to sign over my ship in his name. Are you saying you gave your ship to a perfect stranger from South Africa? Right you are. Because you thought the perfect stranger was going to present you with a small fortune a bit later? Correct. Who would still fall for what must be the <laughs> oldest That is like trick the oldest the con. In... Uh, me, apparently. At least now I understand why you don't want to talk about it. Indeed. Is that a stick? A foot on a stick? I'll see you later. The Savvy Shark. Adventurer. The Adventurer's Outfitter. I'm gonna go in. To not shop in that store. Fascinating. Terrifying. Exquisite African art. Optimized for opening canned figs. I already have one on my ship. You have a globe? Kitchy. Kitchy? Kitchy. Boxes. I love blue boxes. Did that? I don't want to know what's inside. The box just moved! Like, wiggled! Wobble a bit when you open and close them. Outdoor scissors. Look Send at Send your wild and incredible adventures to the loved ones back home. Gramophone. It plays all the great hits, like you can never have enough ropes. Dr. T's finest as far as the eye can see. Mighty shark teeth. Huh. Only cowards have things like that on their ships. <laughs> Gonna pull this curtain. Are you crazy? What deed confronts my eyes? Leave the young lady alone at once. Shut, Shut your, your trap. Tra hey, what do you <gasps> think you're doing? Should we be Denver's occupied? Uh, not bad, the service here in Cape Town. You know, this totally I'm seems Jack like a line King, from him. Captain of the Charming Princess. My pride and joy. Great, which means you already have a wife. That should be enough to keep you occupied. Holy crap, is that Nancy Drew? Hold on! Hey lady! Haven't seen anything but water for a while, huh? That's the girl that does the voice for Nancy Drew! I've lost my headphone! <laughs> Just wanted to see if the gambit would work again. Haven't we met before? <laughs> Haven't we met before? Yes, a second ago. And each time you open the curtain will take me that much longer to change. <laughs> oh my god, it's Nancy 
he drew. That's awesome. That's a bit old-fashioned, in my opinion. <laughs> Not exactly my cup Indiana of tea. Indiana Joan. Oh my God! I get to listen to Nancy Drew this whole adventure. I shouldn't I'm get too sure close. Pretty sure that that's the uh, American they hired. Also, hi, old adventurer. Another one of those poor lunatics. Ha! What do you mean, ha? Dear me, ha, as in, ha! Another one of those down and out adventurers bent on trying their luck in Africa. I'm an successful adventurer too. Let's see. Prove that you were successful. I don't care if you're successful or not. Prove you were successful. Ha! Nothing simpler than that. Ha. I was on the Canary Isles and did a fabulous business there, old chap. Okay. Prove you visited the Canaries. I do have a bottle of fine Norwegian rum here. That's proof if there ever was any. It's the basis of my not inconsiderable wealth. <laughs> the natives are literally mad about this stuff. Heh. <laughs> Prove that you're wealthy. Prove that you're wealthy. Let's see, uh, here, you take the bottle. After all, I still got hundreds of them. Heh. <laughs> Hmm. Now there's a man who talks turkey. Thank you very much, sir. Now there's a man who talks turkey. Thank you very much, sir. The main thing is that you believe I truly am a successful adventurer. No, the main thing is I got a bottle of rum. Ha 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 ha. What a cute little shop he had. How nice. Another customer for my faraway place. You're not going to you tell me you've had lots place, of adventures, sir. are you? Me? Of course I am. I'm a master adventurer. That's true. Wonderful. In that case, I warmly recommend browsing through my top quality merchandise to your heart's content. Well, thank you. You make sir. it sound so tempting. You know, Cape Town is the gateway to Africa. And Africa tops the list for adventurers these days. Hundreds of adventurers set out from Cape Town each week. How many um, ever come back? And how many ever come back? At least one or two <laughs> a year, that is. Oh, God. So, if you want to buy something, don't be bashful. Just let me know. Cool. Can I enter your storage area? The stuff in my yard is not for sale. Oh. Okay, never mind. Well, let's see if I go. Come on. Perform a captain in need. Nope. I'm going to get my friends a bottle of rum. So that they can go off and be ridiculous. So I can buy myself a new shoe. Very conspicuous Mexican. A few blank Some kind of alcoholic swill. Where are you guys go? Here, take this bottle. But don't drink too much. We'll be setting sail soon. Rum! Hey, it's a star. Time for us to get going. Time for a pub crawl. And we won't be back until the funds run out. See you later, Jack. But... I mean, you know. Are you done? Hello? Okay. Well then, all cats are gray at night. <laughs> Do you have something against cats? Right, uh, let me put it this way. The early bird catches the worm. What if it doesn't? Oh, for heaven's sake, the password! How am I to know whether to trust you if you don't give me the password? No one ever said anything about a password. They didn't. Rats, the colleagues of the Foreign Office have botched things up again. There simply should be more agents of my caliber. 
That would put a stop to the constant danger facing the Empire. Totally. Moving along. Are you Mr. Keen? Bean. My name is Bean. I won't reveal a thing to you without the password. <laughs> I'm gonna keep asking with I won't them. reveal a thing to you without the password. Oh, gosh. Um, how was that phrased again? Fiddle faddle. Let's just leave out the silly passwords for once. No one needs them anyway. Well then, what I'll do is clue you in a bit then. Not too much, mind you. After all, you are merely the courier. So, I, the best agent the Empire can muster, am being sent to Tooth Island to get a look at what a certain renegade Dr. T is up to there. You see, the Empire has been pitted against a dire stroke of fate. A strange species of tea-eating plants is gobbling up the Indian tea plantations to their very roots. Only one variety has been spared. The tea owned and grown by Dr. T. Sounds a bit that odd, doesn't it? Oh, a tea crisis. How shocking. I think I'm gonna faint. All in all, your average subject could stand practicing a little abstinence, but the Queen will never, ever abstain from drinking her morning tea. So armies are being conscripted and generals sent marching off all because of the Queen's tea? <laughs> Much more significant than that. The Queen has sent me. <sighs> Thank you. It's all clear as day to me. Excellent. What do I have to do? I'm not going to insult you. <laughs> the first thing you could do is make yourself useful by mailing this parcel. But there's not even a stamp on it. That is your problem, not mine. <laughs> Once you have mailed the parcel, I shall be ready to depart. Listen, I'm a captain, not a... Don't start putting on airs with me. A courier is a courier, lad. Tisk tisk. Oh, it's so hard to find well-trained staff these days. I don't think I like you. What is this Dr. T plotting, anyway? What that fellow's planning? We haven't a clue, which is precisely why I'm being sent I mean, there. Aside All from we the know fact that is that he's been conducting plot on... research I mean, for decades. Could... Tooth Island is renowned for its giant he carnivorous could plants. Be like could it be that he's experimented by manipulating fine. them? Or be that by as being it may, the only supplier of tea, whatever it has to do with the Empire, the I must and I will find out. Adventure awaits us! Ha <laughs> ha! Onward, lads! Jeepers, creepers, I'm stuck with sailing a madman across the ocean. In other words, I'm really supposed to play male boy for you? Do stop putting on those airs all the time. As a certified agent, I know all there is to know about you. I have your complete dossier at my disposal. So, what do you know about me? Well, the following story may sound quite familiar to you. In 1871, you were left on the doorstep of a London orphanage at the age of two, parents unknown. Sole possession, a knife with a strange key on it. You even know about my knife? That's, That's pretty impressive. impressive. You ran away later on and became, in sequence, a deckhand, able-bodied seaman, and eventually a captain on the London-India route. I see. Probably the classic situation where my reputations preceded me. Quite the contrary. We chose you because your success has been so minimal until now that hardly anybody remembers you. Hold on there a second. On the London-India route, I'm as fast as greased lightning. To our knowledge, the only lightning reported was the flash that struck your ship's mast last summer. Hang on. Nobody can pack a cargo hold fuller than me. That might be an interesting point, if you'd load something other than rats for a change. But I'm still the only captain who has never, ever been searched by customs. Only because the customs officers have a very long list, and you are at the very, very bottom. Well, all right. So I haven't okay. been too successful recently. You see, that's why you're the perfect cover for a man of my importance. Now, kindly scrounge up a stamp first, then expedite this extremely important parcel to the post office. After which, we should get going. Okay. 
Well, this game is going to be incredibly strange. A secret parcel without stamps. Dun dun dun. But, I don't know, it could be funny. I need to stop getting stuck, which seems to be a problem sometimes, but... And I don't think there's a hint system, which is going to be a big problem. But, eh, at least it, at least it works. Hopefully I can get a better game up and running soon. But uh, I think that this will do for now. It's certainly cute, and it's got Nancy Drew's voice in it. <laughs> Can't believe I recognized that. Oh my goodness. Alright, so until next time, peace out, y'all.